and it's empty, empty, the soul is no longer in your environment. When they come back to visit with you, which is usually about three days, you want to feel the environment again. Let yourself feel that. Because when they come back, it no longer feels empty. It's just like somebody went to the grocery store. That would help the soul of your own heart. If I had known that, I wouldn't have grieved so deeply that I didn't and deny his reality of visiting me. So when you sense that it's no longer empty, empty, then you just say their name out loud. Just acknowledge that he still exists, that they still exist. So we're going to take a pause here before we get into the prayer and the process of how do you connect when they've made that transition and they're on the other side. They're not in your environment visiting with you. They are on the other side and you want to visit with them. So there's two different things here that are very important to uh, acknowledge. Any questions? Because we can talk about that briefly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Julie has a question. Go ahead, Julie. For some reason, I'm not, I'm not getting the grocery store where the, uh, I'm not quite, can you kind of rephrase that for me? Yes, I can. When, uh, let's say you and your, your mom are in the house, okay? And let's say she takes Jewel to her place, okay? The feeling in the environment when Jewel is, you know, Jewel's okay, but she's with your mom. The house isn't empty, but they're not in that environment. Feel the difference? Okay, now, if your past, let's talk about your past animal, bird, all right? And that being actually makes a transition. And it's, it's soul, it's, it's being is no longer in your environment and how you feel, and that empty void in the house. When that animal, we now we're feeling the void, and we're feeling the loss, but we don't know that that being wants to visit with us to say, I'm totally aware of who I am. I'm happy where I am, the rainbow, the, the space and where that energy is. And that being after three days comes in to say to you, I'm happy, I'm here, I'm here. This is where Star said to me, it is devastating to the animal kingdom to exist one day and the very next day you do not exist. You do not acknowledge that I continued. So when you feel that difference, when they come back, just to say hi to you, there's a vibrational difference in the environment of your home. It's no longer feeling that deep void, but we don't know they're there. Our sensory system would. Yes. <clears throat> we have two people that wanna. Can I just say one more thing very quickly, very short. Um, uh, the, the one difficult thing though is, case of my bird it was so uh it was so unexpected and tragic I couldn't even you know I missed that because I was like catatonic and yep. so in fact from a psychic they said he can't even come to you because you're so distraught right that was me yes okay yeah Claire go ahead Claire, did you want to say something? Yes, I was just unmuting. Um, I had to put down our, our big lab uh, about two years ago, and um, I took her to the vet. And afterwards, I'm driving home in tears. A huge energy jumped into the back seat of my car, and I knew it was her coming home with me. And it made it worse. Oh, honey. They always come home with you. They always stay for that first 24 hours because it's a big change for them. 
as well. Yeah, and she, I, I saw her napping all the places she napped for like a couple of days and then she was gone. Yeah. That's very hard. So today you may want to ask, how are you doing? Okay, when we do the session, all right? You recognize it's a profound experience when you feel it. Yeah, she says, okay. Was there, who was the second person who wanted to speak? I'll ask Robin's question for her, but for now, let's, let's, let's do a quick recap, Sam. You said the animal has just crossed over and in, in, within that same 24 hours, the animal will visit you, but after 24 hours, you will feel a sensory that void. First or hours that they're that they made that transition, they're they're with you, even if you put them to sleep at the vet or at your house. Usually, twenty. Sometimes it's longer. Like your the animal will stay because there's this huge connection, but normally it's about a twenty four hour, maybe a little longer. Uh, when you know they've left, when the soul leaves your environment, is when you feel that void that the crying and the empty and your heart hits, you know, you're crying because you're missing them, but then the soul leaves and that's a whole different feeling. Great, so let's just name the four steps that you just outlined for everyone. Okay. The animal crosses over and in that 24 hour period, the animal's still with you. I love how Jewel's nodding her head. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Then, then after that 24 hour period, when your, your animal goes to heaven, you have three days of just sensory void. And at, after those three days, 72 hours, the soul of the animal will come back mm -hmm. and you'll feel it in your environment. Like, oh, they just left to go for a walk or go to a grocery store and they're back and you can feel it. And the moment you feel it, you're supposed to say your animal's name out loud and acknowledge that they're visiting you. Yeah. Otherwise they'll get disappointed. Like, why didn't you know I was here, right? Yeah, that remember that's that remark star said it's devastating to exist one day and the very next day you don't exist. And that's what I had done. I had cut him off so that that's why my grief was so intense. It was the end. I didn't believe that there was anything more. <clears throat> so as devastated as you were your dog is devastated as well like i'm right here please so always acknowledge your pet after three days when they come back to visit you right yeah, yeah. and even when you know before uh, when you're in the process of needing to euthanize them start talking about that ongoing relationship that you'll still be able to talk with them and see them, give them that continued existence. It stops all of their fear because we see the end and they think that we're gonna give them away. So start that, uh, you know, when you know you're gonna to have to do this and start talking to them. Well, when you get too weak and tired, you'll get a shot. You'll be able to spin out of your body and I'll still be able to love you and talk with you. Just that alone will do it. That's beautiful. Well, I know Robin very much wants to talk to her dog Huxley who passed seven weeks and four days ago, but maybe she'll get a message during this process um, that you'll, you'll teach us. And if you don't Robin, just type in the chat and we'll re-ask the question about Huxley. But yeah. Sam, since we have 22 minutes, why don't you go ahead and teach us this process about how to talk to our animals who have crossed over the rainbow bridge. Okay, so I'm gonna, Scott, Vicki has got some uh, things because I asked God, how did I get to this place? And there were things that um, uh, related to it, like gratitude, being in gratitude opens up, being, uh, setting a goal of being inspired opens you up setting a prayer opens you up and and also acknowledging your animals not only personality but the soul by recalling a memory 
that makes you melt, a visual or a behavior. All right, so now we're gonna get into the process. All right, this I just love. So when I use the word uh, beloved father, because I was very young at eight years old when I was told by a priest that God was my father and being adopted, I grabbed a hold of that. So there's an intimacy, even when I just say beloved father, that expands me. So what I want you to do is everyone close your eyes because I'm going to say this prayer and recognize that all of this is to open us up so we can experience our beloved animals. All right. Beloved father. Emotionally open my mind my emotion my emotions and my sensory system knowing that my beloved animal companion wants to talk with me wants to connect with me magnify my sensory systems so that i can feel and know he or she is present I promise that I will acknowledge my dog or cat by saying his or her name out loud. And then let me know that I let them know that I may not be able to see that being or but I will be able to feel and sense that being. And I promise that I will embrace them fully with my love. Beloved Father, take us to the Rainbow Bridge where we see this most incredible visual of a rainbow. And that that rainbow color is flowing over our body, into our body, down into the earth. We're standing in this waterfall of frequency that uplifts our soul, uplifts our personality, uplifts our heart, and most of all, most of all, brings that visual of our animal's face or behavior that melts our heart, that you think, ah, I just love you. I've had such a blast with you. As you recall their vision, the rainbow gets brighter. Your love for this being starts to connect with that being. At the other end of this vibrant rainbow is your animal companion. That is the pot of gold. That is the aspect that draws the two of you together. This frequency of colors that is magnified by your love of this being draws the two of you together. Let yourself feel the rainbow, feel the presence of your animal companion no matter how long ago it was. Soul to soul in a frequency that encompasses the colors of the rainbow, the frequencies of life. Now let your sensory system sense their presence Let your emotions feel the love you have for this being and the love this animal has for you. Let 
let the visual aspect of the brain open so that you may receive the visual flashes that this being wants to communicate either by emotional information, sensory information, your body may feel them rub up against you or the cushion on the couch may go down. I'm here. I love you. For those of you that feel or are aware of the pain before, as if you could just take all of that and then condense it into your hand and then offer it to the rainbow so that it gets transmuted into a frequency that is uplifting for the two of you. Let yourself feel that small little dog that's running around in circles with sheer joy that you acknowledge that I am here. I'm here. We're together. Breathe. Feel that little lick on your chin or your hand. And slowly know that the two of you can do this at home when you have more time and that they just love that acknowledgement. Slowly think about your feet and them jumping down and see that rainbow of colors that's solid to the ground they walk on and turning wagging their tails seeing the joy knowing that love transcends any any level be it there and you are here. The power of love cannot separate the soul and the continuedness that the soul has for each being. No more than God can disconnect from you. We may not be aware of that continued connection of love, it is forever. 
then slowly breathe and they fade, turn, and we we'll move into here, back into your chair, back into this reality. Feeling such gratitude. And then slowly open your eyes when you're ready. <laughs>